Hello, my name is Alex Jamat and I work for VR Expert and today I will be telling you about the Realware HMT1 solution. This is the Realware HMT1 as it is standardly delivered. You can see on the front side you have a display which will be located in front of your eyes and you have a camera which will be located next to your eyes. This is the head strap that standardly comes with the HMT1. On the back side there are two valves. Behind one valve there's room for a micro USB and it's also the place where the battery is located which is swappable and on the other side there's room for a USB-C charger and an audio jack. So uh, for putting on the headset the first thing that is important is to determine your dominant eye. Uh, in order to do that what we try to do is locate an object in the room, uh, look at it through a triangle and close one of your eyes. Whenever the object within the triangle goes outside of the triangle, that is not your dominant eye. For the eye that you close and sticks within the triangle, that is your dominant eye. So please make sure that the display is located in front of your dominant eye. So after determining your dominant eye, it's important that you make sure that all the settings on the device are correct. Please make sure that the display is located underneath the camera and the camera is pointed straight forward while the display does not intervene. Please note that you can replace the boom arm up and down, but also inside and outside. The same applies for the display in front, you can move it up and downwards. So after you have done this, it is time to set up the device. So now it's time to turn on the device. The first thing you can do is you can change the size of the head strap by simply pulling it out or inwards. After you have done this, you can put on the device on your head while you make sure that the display is on the dominant eye and located underneath the camera. So after putting on the device, there's a few things that's important. First, make sure that the display is located near to your eyes and it is clearly visible. You can tilt it in an angle forwards and towards you. Second, make sure that the display is located underneath your eyesight. It's important to keep your vision clear at all times. Only when you look downward, you should be able to see the screen clearly. You can turn the display in an angle upwards or downwards, but we recommend to place it underneath your eye in an angle upwards. While you do this, make sure that at all times your camera side is free and the display does not intervene this. When the display is visible clearly, you can turn on the device by the power button located on the same side as the display. Please note that this might change to, to the dominant eye you're wearing it in front of. Hold the power button for 3 seconds and it will turn on by itself. So after starting on the device, you will probably notice that you can only operate the Realware HMT1 by voice commands. So you can always give the commands you see listed in the screen, for example, say my programs to open your app menu from the home menu. Second, there are some general commands you can use to always navigate within the headset. For example, to navigate to the home menu, you can say navigate home. Or you could say navigate back to go to the previous menu. Furthermore, you have some more standard uh, commands that you will find on the quick start guide, which are delivered with the headset. In order to change settings like the volume, you can say my controls. There's a third option for selecting items that are not pronounceable. Sometimes you will have names or numbers that you cannot pronounce in one sentence. So what the HMT does, it will always give a number. In order to show numbers that are not directly shown, please use the general command show help. The numbers will be shown briefly and you can select these numbers by saying select item 4. Please note that you have to say this command exactly. So after you're familiar with the general voice commands, we can start by setting up the Wi-Fi of your HMT1. There are three ways to set up your Wi-Fi. The first way you can set up your Wi-Fi is simply by giving the speech commands to the headset. You will find the step-by-step -step instruction on the quick start guide provided. Please note that you will have to spell out your entire Wi-Fi password. The second way you can set up your Wi-Fi is by using the Realware Companion app. You can find the Realware Companion app both in the Play Store and the iOS Store for your smartphone. Once you have installed this app, please open the configurations bar and there you see the network configuration settings. There you can select the right network and fill in your password. After that, please press on generate QR code. Within the headset from the home menu, please say my programs, configuration and from there scan the QR code from your phone to the headset. So the third option you have to set up your Wi-Fi is use the Realware Explorer program. What this program does, it will allow you to screencast your HMT1 device 
to your PC. In order to set it up, please connect the USB cable to your PC and connect the micro USB attachment to your HMT1 device. This will make sure that you can screencast from your HMT to your PC. So from the home menu, please select settings, followed by network and internet, followed by wireless networks. Here you can select the right Wi-Fi, simply press it, fill in your password and press connect. So to check the quality of your Wi-Fi connection, you can follow the following instructions. Please go to settings, from there select network and internet, from there select wireless networks, and then press the network you are connected to. Once you have done that, you can see your signal strength, your frequency, and the security of your network. And if you scroll below, you will also find the MAC address and the IP address. So all the information you need, you can find here. So for installing applications on you to your HMT1 device, you have two options. For both, you will be needing your PC. So the first option you have for installing applications onto your RealWare device is using the RealWare Explorer program. Please make sure the device is connected to your PC and the program is running. Then on your PC, select the APK you would like to install. Once you have downloaded the XM Reality APK, you can drag and drop it to the RealWare Explorer program on the right top, like we show you here. Once you have done that, it will say installing APKs, and if it's successful, it will tell you that it's a successful install. You can now find the APK in the My Program section. Another option you have for sideloading the XM Reality software is to sideload using the File Explorer. Simply download the APK to your PC and connect the HMT1 to your PC using the USB cable. Once you have done that, drag and drop the APK from the download section to your device then select internal shared storage and then select the place where you can find the APK again. I would recommend the document section. Once you have done that, the APK will be added to the document section and now we have to start the installation from the device. So in the device from the home menu, select my files, then go to my documents and here you can find the APK you just sideloaded. Simply press it, select continue and either say select item 2 or install to start the installation. Once this is done, the APK will be shown in the My Program section. So in order to factory reset your device, you have to give the HMT1 the following instructions starting from the home menu. My Programs settings, system, reset. Here you can select the factory reset option by saying erase all data, factory reset, or select item four. Once you have done that, please use the command page down to scroll down the page and then say erase all data. After you've said this, it will ask you again, please say again, erase all data to confirm your factory reset. Now the device will start rebooting. The RealWare HMT1 has a lot of available accessories. First, there are three types to wear it. You can either wear it with an existing bump cap or provided by RealWare. You can clip it on to a hard hat or you can use the work band, which will give you more comfort and stability. Second, there is one semi-rigid carrying case available, which is really recommended for transport. You can place the HMT1 and its accessories in this case. Also, you can have additional a custom case where all your accessories, including hard hats and bump cap, can be laid in with. Third, you can increase the battery life of your HMT1 by using a spare battery. Fourth, you can use an LTE 4G modem to connect your real-world device directly to 4G network. No Wi-Fi needed. Fifth, you can buy earbud hearing protection headphones created by RealWare, 
which have noise cancellation, making sure that all the receiving sound you will hear clearly, even with a lot of background noise. For the full range of available accessories, please check out the product catalog, which you can find on our website here. Next to the available accessories, there's also two types of surfaces available that you can use for your Realware HMT1 solution. The first surface you can use is the installation surface. This means the VR expert team will do the first time configuration of your device and install the software of your choice. The second surface you can use from the VR expert team is the support desk they provide. The support desk is open from 9 to 5 Central European Standard Time and they provide support in German, English and Dutch. You can contact them by mail or by phone. In order to change the language settings, please use the action button located on the side of the display, press and hold it until the right language pops up. Once you have selected the right language, let the action button go and from now on your device will be in this language. In order to change the volume settings of the device, please use the following general command, my controls. Then say volume. Select the number between one and 10 and select it by saying Set level 6, for example. You have now changed the volume settings. So the battery life of the RealWare HMT1 is about 4 to 6 hours. After 4 to 6 hours of intensive use, you can also swap the battery. You can do this by selecting the option to swap battery. It will give you an automatic pop-up once the battery is almost empty. Simply turn around the device, take out the battery, and replace it by putting a new one in there. You're now good to go another four to six hours.